Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Get Right with Digibyte. My name is Mike, and it's another fantastic day on the Digibyte blockchain. And in today's video, we're going to spend some time going over the Digibyte mining guide for SHA-256 using an ASIC written by You're Both Wrong. But before we begin, if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to like this video and share it with everyone you know, and consider subscribing to our channel. And if you're active on Twitter, give us a follow at DGMV underscore show. The Digibyte Money Guide for SHA-256 using an ASIC was written by You're Both Wrong and is available on Medium. We'll provide a link down below. I'll also put a link to the DGB Wiki page, which is a fantastic resource for all things Digibyte and which will eventually feature the article as well. Now, there are three things which I really like about all of this. And the first is the article itself. So let's jump right into it for a quick overview. Now, it's not a long guide. It's listed as a four minute read. And Medium also offers the ability to listen to the article being read. The article is very concise and not overly technical. Now, I'm not a technical guy myself, but once I reached the end of the article, I was confident that, yeah, I could do that. And at the beginning of the guide, he does offer some really good advice, such as only purchasing the miner from reputable sources and just be mindful of deals that are too good to be true because you might not end up with uh, what you want. He also provides some images here for some miners that are available on Amazon. And if we go over to Amazon, we can see, you know, they've got all kinds of offerings for ASIC miners, which I find very interesting, you know, because it wasn't that long ago that, you know, mainstream uh, companies like Amazon, uh, you know, it was just one of those things where, you know, they people look down on cryptocurrencies. It was something that seemed only for illicit activity. And here you have the largest online retailer in the world uh, offering all types of different miners, uh, which, you know, is very interesting, I think. Uh, some other great info that he includes in this mining guide is when regards to powering the miner itself and the power supply and to make sure you get the proper power core, get something heavy duty. Again, you want something that's thick, proper gauge that's going to be able to, uh, you know, maintain the load required to run this miner. Miners require a lot of energy, of course, and uh, they produce a lot of heat. And if you have any concerns, just call, uh, you know, a licensed electrician to come out and take a look because, again, you don't want to create a situation where uh, one day your miner is running and uh, it catches on fire and burns the whole place down, which has been known to happen. Uh, so make sure, uh, you know, set up your miner safely and to make sure everything is up to code. Now, the mining guide continues on uh, with details on how to set up the miner, how to uh, connect it to a mining pool and how to configure the miner. And again, it's only about uh, you know, a little over a dozen steps here to get it set up. And then uh, you're off to the races. Now, the second thing that I really like about this mining guide is uh, how it was created in the first place. And it started with a tweet from the Digibyte coin main Twitter account uh, saying, can anyone in the Digibyte community create a mining guide? It would be a wonderful resource, to which you're both wrong. Also goes by the handle of invisible hand replied, uh, yeah, uh, I can do that. And a short time later, uh, the article was published. And to me, this is just emblematic of how a decentralized uh, community operates, uh, you know, you just put the word out and people respond and provide things that are very useful uh, to the rest of the community. And if you're active on Twitter, uh, go and give Your Both Wrong a follow. Uh, if you're already active there anyway, you're probably familiar with his tweets. He does these uh, you know, tweets every day calling out the big exchanges like Gemini, Kraken, Coinbase, uh, basically for you know not acknowledging Digibyte, not listing it, and also for not saying why they won't list it. And uh, you know it's great that he does that. So go and give him a follow. And he also said, you know, if you have any questions that, you know, reach out to him uh, either through Twitter or uh, through the through a Discord server. Um, and one other thing I'd like to bring up too about the mining guide is here at the very end, uh, you'll see he has this Digibyte address, uh, which I assume is for accepting donations, uh, which is great because, you know, again, we always talk about how uh, you know, the Digibyte community is made up of volunteers. Uh, there's no paying position, so to speak. 
but you know we are building uh you know it's emblematic of the peer-to-peer value for value system which we're trying to build and if you read through this article you find value in it if you start up your own mining operation and you use this uh in any way well it's great to you know give a little bit back uh, of course you know it takes time to write this up and there's time and resource required to obtain the knowledge in order to uh make a document like this uh, uh feasible so uh you know uh, kick a little bit back to to you're both wrong uh one other thing i want to mention too of course digibyte uh is has five mining algorithms uh that sustain the network and if you're a miner uh, and you're watching this but you mine on skyne or script or one of the others and you think hey you know i could do a mining guide for one of those uh please by all means i invite you to to do that and you know i know myself and other members of the community would be greatly appreciated of of, of that effort uh so we'll keep an eye out for that but anyway guys uh just like i said this is a quick overview of this digibyte mining guide I want to make sure it's out there and people are aware of it and they can check it out again the links will be down below remember if you're not right with digibyte and you're doing it wrong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.